Hey guys, welcome back to The Caver's Wife. I am working on a sewing project today, so I hope it turns out. If not, then you won't even see this. <laughs> All right, here we go. So let me show you what I'm doing. All right, guys, this is the first time that I've tried to film a video like this. So I really hope that I get the angles right where you can see them. So what I'm doing today is I'm making a pair of jeans into a knee length skirt. So what I've done is I've just taken a pair of jeans that are in my size and I've opened up the seam. You can see down here, I just took my seam ripper and I opened up the seam. Uh, including the uh, straddle here and then all the way down to the other side. Now you do want to go up the straddle because you want to be able to open this up because that's going to lay open which you'll be able to see uh, as it comes so together. I'm just putting these back together, folding it in half, straightening it up. Now what I've got right here, this is a denim skirt that I really like. It's about the length that I want. I'm actually gonna probably make it about an inch longer, but I'm just gonna use this as a guide for my length. <clears throat> so I'm going to match up the waistbands and then uh, cut uh, uh, two inches below the length. And just so you all know, I am not a precise seamstress. I mostly eyeball it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use this as my guide here. All right, I'm gonna take my rotary cutter. pressing down pretty hard so hopefully I got went through all the layers and I did okay now I am actually going to use um, these down here to fill in my skirt uh, on the front and the back but uh, you don't have to use the legs you can use a pretty fabric if you want to um, it's just whatever you want to do but I like denim so I'm gonna stick with this Okay, so now I'm gonna open this back up and then you can kind of start to see it take shape. I forgot to open up the seam on this back part. So just like you do on the front, you wanna do this on the back as well. You just need to open it up. You want it to lay flat, so I'm gonna open this up a little bit more. Be careful with your seam ripper that you're not um, that you're not tearing the fabric. So about like that. And then, then we're going to check this side to make sure we have the same thing. There we go. So I definitely need to open this up a little bit more as well. Okay, so I think I've pretty much gone all the way up to 
where it goes to the zipper. Perfect. That's exactly how you want it to lay. So as you can see, these down here um, need to be trimmed off. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just going to keep this simple and I'm going to start pinning it. I'll go to the back. And you're gonna do the same thing. You're just gonna, okay. just tucking the seams in, just like this. Okay, and again, we're gonna pin this. You want to make sure that you have just enough to close up that inside of that gap. That's, I'd say that's good enough. Okay, so now I'm pinning this panel in place. And then I'm just going to trim the excess off here in just a second. Right, so I'm going to go ahead and trim off this excess part here. Um, you definitely want to keep your scraps because, I mean, come on, how many awesome crafts can you make with this? So what I'm going to do is just trim off this hard seam here. Okay, so I just made a big patch here, and okay, just like that. Can you see that? Ah, oh, that looks great. You see it? Yay! Okay. All right, so I am gonna go ahead and I'm gonna sew um, up the sides here. I'm gonna go up once and then twice on, along each seam. I'm gonna go ahead and trim this just a little bit. Okay, all right. So we're ready to take this to the sewing machine. I am using a, um, 
100% finished cotton thread by Coates and Clark. You can see that. Check your owner's manual for your attention and all that good stuff. Uh, you could use, I have a gold thread, which would be a really pretty contrast, but I don't want to use that. I just want to use the navy blue. Okay, I'm going to set my stitches pretty close together, and I want a straight stitch. I don't want a zigzag. So um, I've got my needle positioned in the middle, and my tension is at between the four and the five. So I have a brother, LS. 1217. Um, my in-laws got me this for Christmas one year, um, right? I think a couple of years before I had my daughter. So, um, so it's definitely not a new machine, but it works and I like it because I know, I know my way around it. So here we go. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sew up the side. up the straddle and laid it open. We're just gonna sew that down now. Here's what we got so far. And my phone is dying. Okay, so now we're gonna work on the back. I really hope this isn't too short. So all I'm doing is I am letting the presser foot kind of be my guide as far as the width of the seam. So I'm just letting the fold right along the side there. material. So I've got everything sewn, now I'm just going to trim this up and then I'm going to take this over to the ironing board and I'm going to press the seams. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going to fold it under a fourth of an inch and then fold it under another fourth of an inch so that will make it about a, ha a half inch shorter. So hopefully that will work out. <laughs> okay you guys, I just finished my skirts. Where's the sets? 
right here. Be quiet. This is a kitchen. Yes, I know. Be quiet. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I finished my skirt. Um, three things you need to know. One, the skirt is not as long as I was hoping it would be. I would like for it to be like two inches longer. Second, I am not a model, so <laughs> the photos that you're about to see aren't exactly Kate Moss, okay? <sighs> All right, I gotta start over because you are annoying me. I think I can work with what I've got. I'm thinking some tights, maybe a sweater and a scarf or something like that. Um, I don't know. I am not a fashion guru, but I do love modest fashion. Um, if you follow me on Pinterest, then you know that because I've got like a bajillion outfits with skirts. I just love them. Okay, anyway. All right, so I'm going to show you the final result.